In other videos I've made, I've covered how to get a wallet, how to set up a variety of different things for your Bitcoin. But for this video, I just want to cover the very simplest way that I have found to actually mine coins. The easiest way to get set up, I just want to cover today. So we're going to go to the 3dspace.com slash Minergate. This is going to let us get the Minergate software for free. All we're going to do then is go ahead and create an account. So I'm going to use an email and password here. You just set up whatever password, email, password you want to set up. You'll see this is really simple. So use your email and whatever password you want. Once you've got that there, it will just say you have to confirm that you're not a robot. Their screen might look a little bit different once you're actually set up. Go ahead and click sign up and start mining. And then it's going to take you to a page where it'll just say this is the most suitable version of our miner or software for your computer. You can get whichever version you want. I have found that the 32-bit works better than the 64-bit on the machines that I have used this on. So I would recommend doing the same. Just get the 32-bit version. I'm going to go ahead and click Get It here. And if you're using Chrome like this, you will see the download window pull up. So you'll have an option down here and then you'll just want to install this software. So you can just click on that, it will open it. You might get a little admin screen come up that says, do you want this to have permission to install in your computer and go ahead and click yes. Click next, I agree. You don't have to add it to the system path or anything like that. If you're on a Mac, this is gonna look a little different, but basically you can either create a desktop icon or not. We'll go ahead and click next and just go ahead and get this installed. And if you're not an admin on your computer, you'll probably have to run as an admin to install it, but uh, you should be an admin on your computer if you own your computer. And then you can go ahead and run Minergate. Now you'll want to put in the email address that you just used to set up your account. And you can do that very simply. If you want to also put in the password, that will help you stay logged in better by putting in the password into the software. And you can do that by going to the extended mode. Extended mode is the username or the email and the password. Or you can just put in the email if you want. I'm going to go ahead and put in the email and the password that I used to sign up. And now you have the option for a smart miner or a miner. But this is actually running on my computer now. I can choose how many cores of my computer I want to assign to it, how many cores of the graphical processor unit I want to assign to it. And you don't need to know all of that, how all of that works. If you want to, you can watch other videos and I'll show you how that works. But you can choose which kind of currency you want to mine inside of here. Honestly, it takes a while to mine enough if you mine any of these really. But I recommend starting with the Monero currency, which the reason for that is that this software basically by giving you the software, they take about 1% of the coins that you're mining in exchange for letting you use their software. But you're done, you're set up, you're mining. That's all there is to it. And you're now mining with your computer. You'll see that you've got an unconfirmed balance here. I'm gonna cover that in a different video, but basically in order to get started mining, that's it. All of your steps are done. You're now mining. And in other videos, then I will cover how to extract this coin once you actually have it. You can also set up again in here to mine Bitcoin or to mine some of these other currencies. But I generally recommend just get started with the smart miner. And then again, we'll cover in other videos what you should do to actually extract this coin once you've got enough of it that you can do something with it. But again, in order to get started, just go to that the3dspace.com slash miner gate, and that will let you get started mining Bitcoin and mining other coins as well. If you liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up below. Be sure to subscribe as we have more helpful videos almost every single day. If you have any questions that we can answer for you, please be sure to come and visit us at showmehowtodothis.com.